Sail with us on our dream time from Great Keppel Island to Perforated Point at Port Clinton. We spend three days in this idyllic spot, waiting for the wind to continue north. off time. After a lovely sail this morning, it is safe to say the wind is failing us. The motor is back on and we're just chugging our way in very windless conditions up towards Port Clinton. The wind's showing sort of three knots, but it's, I think we're making it by driving the boat through the uh, air. Still get the sails out because every now and then it fills in momentarily and it does steady the boat. But look at that wind gauge. Flop, flop, flop. You get that. Everyone's sailing south. We're the odd one out. That's Manifold Island ahead. Last time we sailed north past it, we suffered a knockdown in very nasty conditions. 
check it out here if you haven't seen it before. Welcome to Port Clinton. Never call Port Clinton beautiful, but parts this of it is, are. This yeah, end. this end is lovely, isn't it? And um, you do have to have Norbleys for this end. Just gorgeous water. None of it you can really use because this is crocodile country. We are deep in crocodile country here. Only the light winds this afternoon, it should die out overnight and then turn straight to a north east leaf. Wow, there are fish jumping. Look to your right, Rob, look to your right. We're at 5858. Roger that, King, ready to drop. Well, we've done something that we normally wouldn't do. We've actually anchored with a lee shore. That means the wind is currently pushing us towards the beach. If the anchor dragged or failed, we'd be pushed towards and put potentially on the beach. But the reality is, is the um, forecast is for the wind to swing to the east, which will put it behind the uh, rock headlands here and then we will hang out sort of more or less parallel with the beach and then we'll just sit here with mild easterlies for monday tuesday wednesday with the plan to head further north on thursday recently early in the afternoon so we didn't do lunch on the way so what we're going to do is have some fish burgers so just a bit of coleslaw to be made up and fish on the barbecue perfect it's probably not much better than getting into an anchorage while we've still got time to cook up a barbecue lunch and uh, Karen's prepared some of the mackerel again uh, chili, lime, Mexican style. Go straight on the barbecue and um, life afloat does not get much better than this. I think we've got enough of this mackerel to last us for quite a while. Um, so we haven't been too worried about getting more yet because we really only fish for what we need. Look at this. We are the only boat in the anchorage beautiful warm summer's day in uh, in North Queensland and this is not bad after passage beer barbecues on we've had tuna chopping up all around the boat we might even start flicking a lure after lunch and this is going to be home for three days oh, I reckon we'll deal with it all done all done mate thank you one fish burger. A lunch of champions. Fish burgers are always good. Mm -mm. 
We may have had the anchorage to ourselves last night, but this afternoon they've come in their numbers. So sweetheart, what excitement have you got planned for us for lunch today? We're having fish. <laughs> We're having fish burritos actually. So nice and yummy and healthy. Nice and simple lunch. Some fish that has been marinated in some taco spices, some capsicum, some onion, some tomato for myself, but not for Rob. <laughs> Lovely avocado. Also used our salsa sauce there on the base. Um, some beans. and put them into a hot pan. That is looking good. So what else is exciting in the food front? The real exciting thing is our galley has two books now digitally up so that you can download them. One of them is about provisioning and passage food, and the other is about seafood. All things seafood, all things that we catch on board the boat, how we catch them, how we clean them, how we cook them. And they'll be available via a link here or here or here. I don't know, wherever Rob puts the link. And a nice hot fish burrito for lunch. Yamo. Join us next time on Dreamtime Sail when we continue sailing north. We suffer a rigging failure as the main sheet and preventer lines all tear out of the boom in challenging conditions. This saw us motor our way to the iconic West Bay at Middle Percy Island where we enjoyed some more R&R &R and added our memory piece to the cruiser's A-frame. If you'd like to see more of the behind the scenes on our dream time, receive daily sit rep videos when we're sailing, track our travels in real time, find out where we are right now, and meet up with us if we're in your area, then please head over to our Patreon site and join the Dreamtime Sail virtual crew. Membership starts at less than a cup of coffee. We'd like to thank everyone who supports us to make these videos possible. Your encouragement is what keeps us going. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's free and click the bell button to be notified when we release each video. See you next time.